and being free don't have to hinder this man's freedom also. Your freedom, my freedom, is not to hinder no one's freedom. It's to be free. Six billion people on our little planet and all looking for our own personal piece of paradise. Can it even exist in this day and age? We have a medical profession being governed by billion dollar drug companies, epidemics of depression and stress from those already feeling there is no way out. We measure the success of our countries by their performance in stock markets driven by greed instead of measuring the overall happiness of the people. When did this important statistic become overlooked and why? It begs the question, have we truly made our world a better place? The real definition of Rasta to me is the way of life. Yeah. We're not a religion, we're just a way of life. Just practicing peace and love and, and the true meaning of life. That's all. No racism. We deal with all race and we spoke good part. <laughs> no violence. Like Forget everybody, you love everybody. Violence not in it, man. Forget about violence. Are, in Europe, those in Europe is different. But here in the Caribbean, it's total peace. Peace and love. With Ambient Real Life, we reached over two and a half million people this past year already. People just like you all reaching out and looking for something to watch that makes them feel better, not worse. My question to you is this, is it possible that many of us could learn something from those that are considerably happier living on much less? We feel badly for those that live in what we call third world countries, yet most of them live in houses built by family and friends and have no mortgages, very few expenses, and as a result, little or no stress. They are satisfied with raising their own animals, catching fish, and growing fruit and vegetables to eat from their own gardens, and yet seem to be much happier than most of us could imagine being. What if there was a better way? What if we could learn something from those that still live in simpler times? Is there anyone here would listen? When I conceived the idea of ambient real life, it was to share imagery of beautiful places and scenery with those that can't be here in person. Sometimes just seeing something beautiful can make us all feel a little bit better. My idea for Corporate Paradise is to interview people from all walks of life from as many different cultures and countries as possible and then see who is truly the most happy, the most free and the most successful overall based on these key factors. If you are interested in helping develop the idea simply subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and register at ambientreallife.com and we'll keep you informed of updates. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I'll look forward to your comments.